For sea fishing, we've got five new Agility EXP rods that Mike Thrussell helped me develop. Within that range, we've got an 11 foot 6 beach rod, 11 foot bass rod, and three boat rods. The boat rods are all four pieced, while the bass and the beach are five piece. James, the key feature about these rods is its value for money. They can literally be put in a suitcase, you can hide them in the boot of a car, you can get the last couple of hours at night on your way home from work, perfect for the travelling angler. And Mike, just to emphasise on the, the value, all these rods, as with all the Agility EXP rods, come supplied with a good quality travel tube. So that's the Agility EXP range of sea rods. So Mike, let's have a look at these individual rods in a bit more detail. First up, we've got the EXP 11 foot 6 rod. Well, it's rated four to eight ounces, James, but it's, uh, it really peaks well with five, five and a half and bait. Really crisp action. It's fairly fast taper, but it's still progressive, so it's very easy to cast with simple casting styles like overhead, etc. Um, very, very sensitive rod too. Really good bite detection, as I say. And it's got the um, Zog rings, zirconium oxide rings, yep. which are very, very tough. They're also good with both braid and with mono. And again, you can use both multiplier and fixed spool reels with this. Okay, uh, Mike, so 11 foot 6, I mean, when would you be using an 11 foot 6 beach rod typically? Well, it's literally what it says it is. It's a travel rod. It's perfect for just general fishing. You can use it for a little bit of flatfish fishing. You can use it for a little bit of heavy bassing. You can use it for even for a little bit of cod fishing, as well as for fishing off breakwaters and piers. It literally is an all-round rod. So it's a very versatile rod and one that's quite strong as well, which obviously is very important when you're thinking about travel rods. It is, yeah, because you have to think, you know, if people are on a breakwater somewhere, they might want to do a bit of mackerel fishing. Yeah. So you might be fishing a set of four mackerel feathers, you've got to lift four mackerel. You need the power. OK, Mike, so that's the Agility EXP 11 foot 6 beach rod. OK, Mike, so this is the Agility EXP Bass 11 foot. And as we said in the introduction, this is a five piece travel rod. That's right. Well, obviously, being a bass rod, James, you know, you need quite a tippy action, but you do need power flowing into this midsection so that you have both bite sensitivity, but also casting power too. And this rod really peaks with about three ounce and a big crab bait. Um, very, very lightweight, easy to hold for a long period of time when you're feeling for bites. But the other thing about it as well is it's very tensile. So if you do want to go rough ground bass fishing where you need the power to hold a fish away from the rock, it's there in the butt. OK, Mike, and you set this up with a multiplier today, but you could use this with a fixed ball reel as you well? You can use it with both fixed ball or multiplier, and again, it's got the Zog rings, zirconium oxide, so you can, it's compatible with both braid and with mono lines. And the casting rate on this rod is two to four ounces? Two to four ounces, but it peaks with three ounces and a big crab bait. OK, great. So that's the Agility EXP Bass 11 foot. OK, Mike, so you've developed three boat rods for the Agility EXP range all four piece. Um, what different versions have we got in this, uh, in this series? There are three versions, James. You've got a 12 to 20 pound class, a 20, 30 pound class, and a 30, 50 pound class. What we've tried to do in, and, and achieved is keep the rods as slim and light as possible. Again, for the sensitivity, gone for a long foregrip so you can get two hands, thumbs in line, which helps you put pressure on a fish, but also the actions a little bit progressive, but then look, they really lock. So just because they're four piece doesn't mean to say they don't have a really high performance action. And there's a lot of power there. Said so that's only the 1220. And look, you know, tremendous amount of power. So that 1220's got a beautiful action and it's going to be a very sporting rod, which is very much in vogue nowadays, isn't it? Exactly right. I mean, you'd be using your 1220 for like drift fishing over sandbanks, for using it for lure fishing over wrecks, etc. for Pollock. Very versatile rod. OK, so we step up in power then to the 2030. Yeah, well, this one you'd be using over deeper water, over banks for turbot, for big rays, that type of thing, even for tote fishing. This is one of the most popular blanks, the 2030. But again, James, you put some pressure on it. You have the power there. And look, even though it's four piece, it's a nice, even power curve. Wow, fantastic. What a beautiful action. It is great action. And then finally, within the range, we've got a bit of a beast, which is a 30, 50 pound class. And this is seven foot, yeah? That's right. This is the one you'll be using over rough ground, really rough ground like reefs, etc., for conga and also over wrecks for conga. Bear in mind these rods can be used again with, with both braid and mono lines, so the actions are designed to complement both types of line. And again, James, you can feel that in your hands. You know, there's a tremendous amount of power there. Yeah. I've locked that right over. So the guides we've used are the zirconium, zirconium insert guides, oxide. which are light and strong. Yeah. And I think it's also worth mentioning the reel seat. 
which is, uh, as you can see, a, a stainless steel, uh, heavy duty reel seat. It's very heavy duty and it's designed not to let the reel rock when it's under pressure, when the rod's under full compression. One thing that's also worth mentioning quickly, just to go back to the rings, the Zog rings, is that they're what I call a split ring. The reason we choose those, and anglers really like them, is because they don't interfere with the compression curve of the rod. They actually bend and give with the rod as it bends, makes a really good action. And we haven't gone for any uh, foam hot EVA grip on the butt to keep it nice and slim and as modern looking as possible. Absolutely, but the other thing as well, one of the reasons why we don't put EVA on the bottom of rods anymore is that when you lean a rod on a boat gunnel, quite often somebody can put their foot on it. The EVA is not tough enough to stand the weight of a man walking on it. Obviously, you're far better with shrink tube, it's much more durable. Okay, and just to emphasize the value of the rods, they're all supplied with this Cordura travel tube as well. So that's the Agility EXP range of boat rods. The Agility EXP spin rods are all seven piece. And as you can see, they're very compact. So they're obviously designed for the, for the traveling angler. Within the range, we've got a 10 foot six, nine foot six, and eight foot version. Now the nine foot six and the 10 foot six will cross over to sea fishing. Obviously there's a great application for freshwater fishing, be it for trout, salmon, pike and zander. But we're here on the beach today and Mike, you picked out the nine foot six version. Well, that would be the one that I would tend to use the most. Um, just to run you through it, James, the 8 foot 6 will be quite good for just light spinning for garfish and mackerel, things like that off the breakwater, yep. and also for a little bit of light plugging. But the 9 foot 6 will be the one that I would use for most of my spinning with heavy allures. But of course, don't forget the 10 foot 6 too. If you want just one rod, not only can you spin with it, but you could even light leisure fish with like an ounce, ounce and a half, but you could also float fish with it. So it's a very versatile rod, the 10 foot 6. Okay, Mike, thanks. So we've obviously uh, been consistent with the current agility spinning rods in that we've used a similar blank construction, which is very light but strong. We've gone for the zirconium insert guides throughout. Um, we've got a nice quality uh, reel seat, which is secure and strong, and a, a very nice quality cork. So I think these rods absolutely represent fantastic value, not only for the, for the travel angler, but you know, for anybody serious about spinning. That's right. You really wouldn't realise that you were using a seven piece rod when you were actually fishing with it. It the really is a good action for a seven piece very rod, smooth incredible action. And, and very strong. So as with all the Agility EXP rods, they're all supplied in a tube. So that represents absolutely fantastic value for money. So that's the agility range of EXP spinning rods.